Alrighty. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up um, weapon crafting, or how to work around the fact that there isn't actually weapon crafting inside of Elden Ring. Um, I'm going to use Param Studio for this video. Yapt works all the same. I'm just kind of bouncing back and forth between the two just to kind of see uh, what I'm feeling uh, more preferably. So uh, ignore the discrepancy there. It, it will all work the same. Um, so as you may or may not know, crafting weapons inside of Elden Ring does not actually work. It kind of breaks the user interface for the game and uh, is real funky. So um, this is effectively a workaround to it. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Yapt or Param Studio, anything uh, like that. Uh, well, really, either or. There's not really anything other than that. So um, what I have set up right here is three different tabs. Uh, one is going to be the weapons param field here. One is going to be the equip material param, or equip material set param field. And then the other is going to be in the shop lineup recipe. Um, there's one other field, it is the item lot field, but we will get to that um, in a moment here. We don't need that yet. So uh, first things first, uh, I'll explain kind of how it works and then we'll kind of walk through the steps. So since you can't craft weapons inside of Elden Ring, uh, the way that I'm doing it and some, some other people are doing it, um, most notably Grimruck inside of his survival mode mod, uh, he actually helped me kind of piece it together and whatnot. So the way that we are gonna go about doing it here is we're going to craft a arrow that has like the information and icon of our weapon in this instance it'll be a dagger because you can craft arrows that are the weapon um, archetype but that's the only weapon archetype that you can craft is bolts and arrows um, so um, weapons param here so we down at the bottom we have our dagger dummy um, what I would recommend doing would be copying or duplicating the weapon of choice that you're wanting to craft uh, and then make it a new row ID and then come over here to the weapon category, change it to 13. 13 is um, arrows, so it's an ammo type, which means it is craftable. Um, now what you'll have right here is you will have a um, ID that is craftable because it's technically an arrow, but it will show that it is a dagger on your screen um, All that kind of stuff. So this part should be pretty well and good done at this point The next thing that you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to create a recipe for crafting it um, Or don't for the sake of this video. I am making crafting the dagger cost a single um, row of fruit or row of raisin or whatever it is uh, whatever the recipe is to make the, the fruit for our boy torrent so it should just be like one raisin or something like that something real simple for us uh, and then you can go over to the which is by the way that is in the equip material set param that's where all of the actual recipe lists are how you pick what your uh, crafted item will call for to be created. You can make new recipes, by the way. It's as simple as making a new ID and then changing what it calls for over here by material ID. Um, so we'll go over here to the shop lineup recipe now. This is where we will add the dagger uh, for it to appear inside of the actual uh, crafting menu now. Uh, if it's not there, it's not gonna show up. So the way it works here is you would equip or set the equip ID for your dagger dummy, and then you would change the material ID here to whatever your recipe is going to be for it. Um, and then there's some other stuff that you can play with here. Um, how many he sells if you do 
and by key I mean the crafting menu uh, cell quantity at negative one means it's indefinite um, and then if you set it to an actual number it would be a limited amount of however many uh, you can set events for it to be available to be uh, purchased or crafted uh, leaving them at zero will make it so you don't have to have any sort of special events or anything met um, pretty much everything else here you can leave alone it's not going to hurt you any at this point so with those things being done there we will actually now navigate over to the um, item lots parameter item lot param map and then you're going to want to create a item lot for the dagger. Uh, for the actual item lot, you're going to want to assign the real weapon ID, not your dummy ID, because you want to get your new ID. So what we're going to do here now that we have all of this information is I'm going to explain to you how we set this up to actually work inside of dark script. So once you have this set up, saved, you're going to want to have dark script which I've got open right here. If you don't have that set up already or don't know how to set it up, it's very simple. What I did was I went into my game directory that is unpacked. I went into events. I copied the common EMEVD right there, and then I pasted it into my mod folder directory right here under events. And then you can just navigate to it by clicking File, Open, click on it. So I'm going to explain in here a little bit what's going on. Uh, first thing I'll explain is the event itself. So for the crafting to work, what it does is it waits for the player to have the dummy weapon ID. When it sees that you have the dummy weapon ID, it removes the dummy weapon ID from your person and then awards you a specific item lot. If you can see where this is going, then, you know, effectively it means we're crafting our fake dagger arrow dummy ID. The game's going to take it away from us and then it's going to immediately award us the real dagger so it's as if you are crafting. So what we have set up here is a little event script written for that. You can copy this, I can paste it in the description, anything like that, uh, whatever helps. Um, so once you have this written out, you'll be pretty set on the actual event itself, but we're going to uh, need to initialize the event. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to go all the way up to pretty much the top here. We're going to scroll down mostly to the bottom here. So you can see right here, these bottom four events are new events that I have added um, as they have values that are way different than the rest of these here. So I'll explain this. The zero, so for your first event of any type, uh, any new event type, you're gonna want to have a zero uh, preceding it in the first column here. And then the second one here is going to be the event ID, which as you saw earlier, the crafting uh, event that checks for dummy ID, takes it away and awards you is the ID you see right here. This ID right here is going to be your um, dummy weapon ID. And then the final one right here is going to be the item lot ID. And then, so say you make a second weapon craftable, it'll be the same deal, except you'll, pre you'll follow instead of zero one ID for the event, new dummy item lot ID, and then, or not item lot, new dummy ID for the weapon, and then new item lot, all the way across. Easy peasy. Because what the event is doing, let's scroll back down to it, this event is doing is it's looking for those specific columns. It's looking for column number two, I believe. No, no, sorry. Column number three here, whatever this value is this value is looking for the column that has your dummy weapon id same thing looking in the column of weapon id so it's automatically filling it out and then this one is looking at the last id which is the item lot id in the instance of that function up there um, i'm sure that can be explained better 
but I don't have a background in programming or anything like that, so I learned all this a few days ago. Uh, so you can write specific functions to only look specifically for the ID, so you could fill these out with the actual weapon dummy IDs themselves, but this is much easier because then it's all contained to one event rather than an entire event for every single weapon or thing that you would want to craft. So once you have the initialization done up on the top there, just add it in and a new event written down here, just like this, you can go to file and save it. And then we will go ahead and run our game real quick. So here we are in the game here. We have our item crafting menu and we've got the dagger right here showing its icon, its recipe there, um, and all of that good stuff. So to explain kind of what we're looking at right here. Um, so what you're actually seeing here on the screen that I'm highlighting is the dummy dagger. Um, it's showing the dagger icon. It's showing that it's a dagger because we copied it, but it's actually an uh, ammo type. So if you watch closely here, when we go to craft it under the number held right here, it will go up briefly to one and then drop down to zero. And then the game here uh, actually awarded us the actual dagger. So now we've got the actual dagger right there. So that is the little script running that goes, oh, okay, I see that you have that ID. I'm gonna take it away from you. And then I'm gonna give you the item lot that is assigned. So we just keep getting daggers for days now. So that will also apply to pretty much any weapon that you do. Um, armor is a little bit different. You have to set up some dummy goods. I'll make a separate video on getting armors crafted um, as well. And then doing this, you can open up a lot of possibilities for crafting in the game. You can set up a ton of cool stuff, which is uh, what I'm working on currently. I'm trying to work on a weapon overhaul that requires uh, upgrading weapons to be done through crafting. So that should be a lot of fun. But anyways, if that was helpful for you guys, go ahead and leave a like. Likes are what tells YouTube to recommend the video to other people who are looking for similar things or may need help. Um, if you need further help, feel free to join the Discord, come hang out. Uh, we're doing all sorts of fun stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>